The first critical decade of environmental activism in the United States was the 1970s. Indianapolis was fortunate to have a mayor who understood that quality of life meant the physical as well as the spiritual dimensions. That leader, Bill Hudnut, took a unique path to the office of Indianapolis mayor, and in one iconic commercial, he made cleaning up the city fun. Many Hoosiers remember Bill Hudnut as the man who brought the Colts to Indianapolis, but he also was an advocate for a greener city, a visionary who believed that planting trees and picking up litter were important, not only for a city's image, but for its health and long-term well-being. One of Mayor Hudnut's enduring legacies was the creation of the Clean City Committee. Started by volunteers, the committee used the mayor's oversized personality to create the most iconic local commercial in the city's history, the Hudnut Hook. I think that uh, the Hudnut Hook uh, was uh, uh, Bill Hudnut uh, at his uh, finest. I mean, uh, he was a transformative figure in our city's history. Uh, and with just the throwing out uh, the, uh, the one single piece of trash, uh, but the mayor doing that in ways that appealed to uh, the audience, it really made us more sensitive about how important uh, greening uh, is for our community as a whole. And the fact that he did that uh, and came up with a, a, a great visual about the Hudnut Hook and, and putting litter into the trash can, uh, spoke to where he wanted the city to go and, and how you know, the citizens kind of felt about it because they embraced it. They didn't reject it. They didn't say, hey, that's just a wild photo op from the mayor. They embraced it. They understood how important it was. Hudnut claimed that part of his inspiration was American journalist John Gunther, who said in 1947 that Indianapolis was a raw, dirty, and unkempt city. I said to myself, we've got to change that. And so we started the Clean City Committee, and Betty Stanford, a beautiful woman, was the first director. I can't remember if she was staff or volunteer. And it morphed from there. It's, it's incredible what it is now compared to what it was when I got it started. Hudnut committed himself to changing the city's image. His determination and charisma encouraged the entire city to follow his calling. During his tenure, Keep America Beautiful recognized the city for its environmental efforts in 1977 and again in 1988, when Indianapolis was named the nation's cleanest big city, an honor that Mayor Hudnut cherished. In the early 80s, the Clean City Committee became an independent, not-for-profit agency. Known today as Keep Indianapolis Beautiful, the organization is one of the continuing legacies of the Hudnut years. Mayor Hudnut recognized the role that Indianapolis Power and Light, Indiana Bell, Pepsi, Marsh, and other corporations could have in helping to shape the city's green infrastructure. Uh, I think that it's important for the private sector to help here because it's beneficial to them and their employees. Mayor Hudnut's deep and abiding love of nature was twofold. A secular route in just caring about the way that we're treating nature and the way that conservation has become important uh, in order to preserve the resources uh, of uh, the, the earth. There is a religious uh, root also, which has to do with, uh, well, I don't know where it comes from, but look, look at the book of Genesis and how God looked on what he created and called it good. And our responsibility is to till the ground, to take care of the ground, to take care of the nature. Bill Hudnut never stopped thinking about the future. He recognized that a city's green spaces are important, not only for quality of life, but for attracting and retaining talent. That included establishing the rowing facility at Eagle Creek Park for the Pan Am Games. Now known as the Indianapolis Rowing Center, it remains one of the sport's top venues in the United States. It seems to me that understanding the importance of space that I was gonna say is viable, but it is green and clean is, is very important because urban life is gonna become more crowded, 
There's going to be more people. There's going to be more, if you want to put it this way, pollution. And all that can be done to make it a, a, your city attractive by cleaning it up and greening it up. In this day and age when people uh, want that is very important. Just as Mayor Bill Hudnut believed it was important to serve as a steward of the environment, the mayoral archives at the University of Indianapolis is proud to serve as a steward of Bill Hudnut's legacy. He hooked his way into the lives of Hoosiers by reminding them how to keep it clean and keep it green.